This is James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matt Gym Jim Arbat and Hennessy Sports. I'm in the Novo Hotel in Monte Carlo today. With me, I've got minimum strawweight champion, WBA and YBO, Hecky Budler. What's happening, Hecky? You alright? Oh, it's good. Um, nice, nice to be on. Thanks for having me. No, do you know what? It's really, it's really good to get a chance to uh, catch up with you. I've heard your name mentioned quite a lot, and you're actually the lightest boxer, professional <laughs> boxer, I've ever interviewed. So, oh, it's good for you. For me, it's a bit of an <laughs> honour as well. Yeah, it's a nice thing. Um, Happy to be on. It's it's good. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I know you fought in Monte Carlo twice before. Yeah. Yeah. So you're getting kind of used to the atmosphere. What can we expect in the arena tomorrow? Well, I, I never make any predictions. I just say I'm going to win the fight. I don't care how I win, as long as I win. But um, we train hard. I'm ready. I have to to improve every fight. Um, so yeah, expect a a, a a good fight. Good for the viewers to watch. That's what I like. Yeah. You're fighting Hanzu Silvestra. Um, very difficult opponent, quite a tricky opponent. How much do you know about him? Oh, I've watched a few of his fights. Um, he's, he's an extremely hard puncher. A little bit taller than me, but I like that. Yeah. Um, but, but I'm really weak to do. He covered all the angles in our game plan. Um, and he's just honestly a good fighter. He's not rated number one by the WBA for, no, for, for nothing. It's hard to get there. So it's going to be a hard, tough fight. Do you think the best should fight the best? And like, for instance, you're fighting the number one contender for your titles. Do you think that should happen across the divisions? I think that should be on in all the divisions of boxing, definitely. Yeah. Because you can't keep on the money talking about then you fight the guy that's rated number 10 and you're number one. You stay the champion because you're fighting guys that shouldn't be in the ring with you. Um, mm. I think the best should fight the best. Mm. And the titles should be unified. They unified so there's number a one champion in each weight division. That's what, that's what I believe in. Mm. Um, I think that's what they should do. And... Hopefully I can do that. I mean, you fought in the amateurs at the same weight you're at now. How have you continually kept at that weight for, well, how old are you now? You're 26, 27? 26, yeah. So I'm talking 15, 16 years of age. How have you kept at the same weight for 10 years? I have no idea. Um, my mum and my dad are, are the same height as me, so I think I just <laughs> got the genes. Um, we, don't, we just don't grow. We just stay the same height. Mm -hmm. And I think that, 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 that's the only thing I can say. That's the only thing, logical thing I can think of. Yeah. Or they let me sleep in a box when I was little. I don't know. <laughs> thing is, my mum's actually the same height as you as well. So <laughs> I don't know what happened to me. I got, I got lost in a translation, I think. I, I think maybe the boxing that I said, they sleep and sleep in a box. I think that's more true my side. You were lucky enough to have a, a bed. Um, I am from South Africa, of course. Um, no, but I, I don't know. I think it must be in the genes. Because um, my sister's also she's a little bit taller than me. Not a lot. She's also short. So I think it's just the whole family. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of talk of you going up the divisions as you grow and get older. Do you think you're going to stay at this weight or you could go up to like maybe fly weight? Um, I think I would go up. I, I, wanna, I would want to push myself and try um, different things. I like to push myself always. And going up to junior fly and fly would be a hard push, be a hard fight. So I'd like to do it and I think I should do it one day. How many defences have you made of your world titles so far? Um, I've defended my, yes, my IBA, I think, your, I actually don't really know it for close to 10 times. Mm -hmm. um, my, my, this is my fourth WBA title fight, so it's, it's going good so far. I mean, you fought in Monaco, you fought a hell of a lot in South Africa, obviously with the Golden Gloves promotion, that's, that's their main thing. Um, we, we know you fought in the amateurs in, as a child in England. Would you have any thoughts of coming to fight in England again? Is that something that interests you? Yes, oh, I'd absolutely love it. Um, because the box in South Africa, we're lucky enough to see a lot of your guys' shows okay. on TV there, and I just love the atmosphere. Yeah. The luck um, with the fights we we have for having here, Martin Murray's fight, the whole army, army, it's, it's so much fun, and I enjoy the vibe, and I enjoy even if the guy people are against me, it doesn't really bother me. I just enjoy the noises of the crowd. It, it excites me and gets me hyped up. We saw the Barmy Army in full flow at the weigh-in today for Martin Murray vs Gennady Golovkin. Do you get fans like the Barmy Army in South Africa? Are they as passionate? Uh, um, the, you get some, um, the, 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 the fans from East London are like that. They go absolutely crazy. East London in South Africa? Yeah. Okay. Um, and they're very, they, their knowledge of boxing is, is uh, astounding. Mm. Honestly, all of them can give you advice, actually. That's how good they are. But they really go crazy for their fighters. Um, and, and it's also it's fun to fight there. It's it's hard to fight there because the judges aren't always on your side in East London. But but it's it's a good place to fight. And like I said, I'd love to come and fight in England. It's one of my dreams as a professional to go and fight there. Yeah, I, can, I can really I can really see that. Um, South African boxing scene. What is it like in the other weight classes? I mean, we, we we don't get as much South African boxing in the UK as we would probably like. So can you tell me a little bit about the scene in South Africa? Well, there, there's a lot of talent, a lot of very good fighters. Um, 
only thing, I don't know if I've actually been allowed to say this, but there's some structures in the boxing that has fallen apart a bit in South Africa with TV, the, the national broadcast in South Africa is SABC and they've stopped show, boxing completely. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's taken a lot out of a lot of the promoters who don't want to, because they can't um, pay the guys to fight because they're not getting the TV rights. Mm -hmm. So that's taking a bit of a knock, but it's it's building up and it's getting better. And hopefully it will get back onto TV and we can produce more world champions and good fighters coming out of South Africa. Mm -hmm. Okay, well listen, I look forward to seeing you fight tomorrow. It'll be the first time I get to see you fight live. I did have a look at some of your videos on <laughs> YouTube and I said you look like a fantastic fighter. So. Best of luck against Jesus Sylvester tomorrow and um, look forward to seeing you in action. Uh, thank you very much. God bless all the viewers. God bless you and watch your fights and enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you, Hickey. <laughs>